girl used to be. You wrap me on my knees. <laughs> Hey my retro babe, welcome back to Googie Glam, it's Googie. <laughs> I am your favorite Afrofuturistic retro babe, also your favorite YouTuber. Today is a very interesting video because I'm going to be doing a makeup review as well as a get ready with me inspired look. I got my package from Glam Goth Beauty. If you do not know what Glam Goth Beauty is, you've been living under a rock, especially if you're this color. Like... Hello, Marley represents all of us alt black babes, like support her. What is wrong with y'all? This was a collaboration with Bette Noir and it is so cute. Like look at the inside, it's giving Beetlejuice vibes. And there are my palettes. When this came, first of all, the shipping was extremely fast. These are the contents. When I first unboxed this, let me tell you guys, normally makeup palettes aren't like i mean they'll put bubble wrap in there but they don't make sure it's secure but this was secure secure like nothing if you dropped it it was not going anywhere because she had a wrap bubble wrap bubble wrap again tape like it took me a while to unbox it i do have a video showing how it looked when i first opened it but these are the contents once i saw that there was a restock of all the palettes i got them all i couldn't help it like so i got all of her palettes i got the um her newest blush palette kit but i was kind of disappointed that it only came with the mirrors and the necklace like i really wanted the lashes the glitters the lipstick but i can always buy that separately and honestly i'm a beauty supply store lash girl anyway even though her lashes are amazing so yeah this is what i got okay so first up we have the dark renaissance palette <sighs> I love for her packaging, she has her face on everything because I'm that kind of girl, which by the way, I do have my Retro Babe stickers. They're gonna be available in a couple of weeks, so stay tuned for that. But um, I love how she has her face on everything. Like if I were to have a makeup line or anything else, I would put my face on it too, cause why not? And that's the back. So that's really cute. Let me see if I can open this. So this is the palette. And then these colors. First of all, I wanna talk about how big the pants are. It comes with a mirror and these colors are so pretty. The pants are huge. Um, and you can tell a woman of color, especially a dark skin woman made this because look at the shade range. I've seen people use this palette as a setting palette, a highlight and contour palette, an eyeshadow palette, all of that. Even a blush palette with these warm tones right here. I've been using um, my, uh, what is this? I've been using my Ben Nye Mojave palette that I've had for years since I first became a makeup artist for um, highlight and contouring. And you see it's been through like even the shades that I normally use are gone. Obviously it's refillable, but now, I can use this palette. I love this dark, dark shade here for us who want to really contour or even set if you're a dark, deep tone person and you want to set, you can set with this color too, like the range, the range. So next is the Lily Monstar palette and it just slides out super easy. Um, this was the palette that made me want to even buy from this makeup line because I love Lily Munster. I love the Munsters. I love like old campy um, retro, obviously, because I'm a retro babe, hello, uh, horror. And also her face is on this. It is so beautiful. And honestly, her body looks banging. And this is honestly how her body looks like. <sighs> this is so cute. Love the big pan, love the um, shade range. She has a huge mirror. You guys can see my phone. I film with my phone, but um, she has huge mirrors, which I love. These colors are so cute. And the fact that it comes with a black glitter, I love. I love. Even this um, white shadow called Casket Ready. What I love about it is she sticks with the theme of like the undead because this white is not like a normal stark white. It has a more cool tone blue tone yellowish hue so it actually looks like 
the undead. It's not just a normal white, it's literally casket ready white. Oh my gosh, you guys know I'm retro. This 60s Glamazon color. I'm gonna have to do a look with this color for Halloween. I love that the mirror is in like a shape of a haunted house. It's the details for me, honestly. So the star of the show and the reason why we're even doing this is I got the Hopeless Romantic Blush Palette. And this palette has a cute, cute, super cute heart mirror. I love that. I love how every palette has a mirror. And it's a six blush palette. It ranges from red cool tones to warmer pink tones to even purple. And this cool blush right here. There's some mattes, there's some shimmers. Like the romance is a shimmer. Fairy tale is a shimmer. And uh, melancholy is a shimmer. As well as Paramore, Daydream, and Beloved are mattes. I love this shade right here. I think this is the shade I'm gonna use today. And I love Paramore. That is so cute. I like how this can be used for deeper skin tones. You can use this as eyeshadow. You can wet it and use it as eyeliner. Makeup is so versatile, but this palette is so adorable and freaking cute. And it came with two mirrors. These are so cute. That's what they look like. I love the gold one. I like the black one too, but I love, I love the gold one. And I've just been using my mirror I got from Dollar Tree to make me feel fabulous. If you want to feel fabulous, Dollar Tree has these mirrors in like every color. So yeah, but now I have these mirrors that are so cute as well. It also came with this print from the Lily Monster palette, which you can just like hang up. Isn't that so cute? I wanted to sell prints of myself. I might still do that, but this just inspired me to do that. Last but not least, we have the necklace. This is super cute, but like, I'm allergic to, um, I don't want to say fake jewelry, but in synthetic jewelry, and I'm pretty sure that's what this is. I don't think this is real silver, which no shade to her, like, this is a beautiful necklace. It's just, I will swell up, so I can't wear it, but it's so cute, and I can still use it as, like, house decor. Love that for me. All right, so now that we did all the unboxing and the initial thoughts and review, we're gonna get into the makeup. I was dehydrated. Don't mind my hair, y'all. I did these pen curls, but I've had them in my hair for like two days, so that's that. Um, I really wanna do the um, Gwen Stefani look from Sunday morning music video. Basically that, can you see that? Ugh. Yeah, I want to do that, but like Googie Retro Babe style. Um, Gwen Stefani is known for like her pinup looks. Like if I were to describe a Retro Babe, my definition, it would be Gwen Stefani. Obviously, I know um, she has done a lot of cultural appropriation. We're not going to deviate from that. But um, when she was like first out with No Doubt and she was doing the retro looks before it became like the cultural appropriation chola, those are the looks I'm talking about. We're gonna use the black. And I think I wanna um, set my face with, what is that, Madonna. So yeah, we're gonna use Madonna and we're gonna use the black for our brows. This is my favorite setting brush because it's flat and it's like light. So you can just really just press it in. Oh, this is nice. This really just settles into the skin. Wow. This is a really bright under eye child. I feel casket ready, which normally I would hate, but like, because I'm doing like, I don't know, because it's glam goth beauty, I feel like casket ready is very appropriate. And then I think I'm gonna take um, Sinister Chapel and just lightly dust that around my face to set my foundation with the big old fluffy brush. Um, I like to do my highlight and contour with powder, so I definitely will set first, then do the makeup and all that. And I think I'm just gonna use a little bit of David. That's that really bright. 
right here in the corner. I started off with Madonna. I mean, sorry, Madonna, then David in the inner corner. And then all over the face, I use um, Sinister Chapel. And I'm probably gonna contour with Sculpture and Chisel. But yeah, I use this little brush, it's so old <laughs> to contour with. We're gonna go in with Sculpture first. Oh my God, do y'all see that? Wow. I like the way, the quality of these shadows. I like how they just melt into the skin. It's not sitting on top. It's not chalky. The sculpture is just doing it for me. Oh my God. I live. Just gonna do a little bit here. Just cause I like the real angled look. I'm gonna take just a little bit of chisel and just right in there. Cause we wanna look undead. Oh my God. Look at that. Oh my God. I'm gonna take this lip brush cause I like my brows to be very precise. And also I do the under, the lip liner with um, black. So we're gonna use Raphael. I just want really angled brows. This is really black. Okay. Okay. I like to concentrate most of it on the outer part. You look like a villain. Let's do the other side. Devilish. I just use my e.l.f. camo, no, hydrating camo concealer and deep olive. I generally like using a yellow undertone, very warm concealer when I do color brows because I feel like it really blocks them out. And then I'm just going to use this tiny brush because I like, like I said, to be precise. I don't know if you guys are Drag Race fans, but the way that um, Shay Shay Kule does her brows, it just, I want to start doing my brows like that. Where it's like high, tiny, tiny tail, and then very wide and thick, dramatic beginning of the brow. We're done with the brows. I did a little slit. I used that same concealer as my base. And now I'm gonna use the color Florence. Yeah, Florence to set my eye. Florence is a little dark, so it's just gonna, I don't know. It's just gonna be the base. We're just gonna go with it. Well, these shadows are so good for setting makeup. I don't know what this formula is, but it's so like buttery and soft and just melts in the eye. Love that. Like I said, for the Gwen Stefani look, it's more of a, just like a classic pinup look. So in the 90s, just basically the brown eyeshadow and then just the red lip, but we're gonna jazz it up. So um, I'm gonna use the most neutral brown I can find in this dark Renaissance palette, which there's a lot of warm brown. So I'm probably just gonna use Van Gogh. That's a lot darker than I expected it to be, but we're gonna go with it, it's fine. I like to blend my inner corner eyeshadow into my brow. That's just my thing. So taking a concealer brush, we're gonna go back into Madonna and put that on the lid. Just to reinforce that lightness. Just gonna put whatever's left back on my brow bone. And I'm gonna use the same um, eyeshadow I used to set my base, the Sinister Chapel. And I'm just gonna go under. Mm -hmm. 
now we're gonna use the hopeless romantic palette and this is where we're gonna spice up your life i can't decide if i want to use paramour or daydream i think i'm gonna use daydream so you can definitely keep this look a thin liner and then do your lashes and then do the red lip but to spice it up i'm gonna take a little bit of daydream and put it right where i put that dark color just to give like a pink hue and these are definitely blushes because this is like a lighter color it's not as um pigmented as the eyeshadow it just ever so lightly sits on top of the skin so as an eyeshadow i would have to um build it a little bit and then like i said i always put it into my brow i don't know why that's just how i do things i think i am gonna take a little bit paramore just for fun and really build up that inner corner drag it down into my nose contour which i didn't do yet i just realized you have to build these a little bit if you want to use these as eyeshadows now i'm gonna take my brush and just blend it out remember like a couple years ago in 2020 when everybody was doing that sick look this is basically the undead version of the sick look then we're gonna take the little brush that we did under our eyes and i think i want to go in to beloved that's how the color is picking up i'm just gonna do the outer part i used to always do my eyeshadow like this when i was in my early 20s girl's not a niece anymore she's an auntie so that's how that's looking i think i want a little more on the suede now we're gonna do our liner. I just wanna do a thin, sharp wing line. This liner is so old, it's like expired at this point. So it's not that great at making a sharp liner anymore, but we're just gonna hope for the best. I used to be so good at liner. Like people used to um want me to do their makeup just because of how well I can do liner. It's like one of the first things I learned because I used to model my makeup after um, Gwen Stefani as a teenager and um, Amy Winehouse mascara because I got a little shadow on my lashes. That's literally all I use mascara for. I don't really use mascara to enhance my eyes. And for lashes, like I said, I like dollar store lashes, but I have these kiss lash couture triple push-up collection and i these are the single ones i double them up and make them super dramatic and i i can't decide which ones i'm gonna wear i'm probably gonna wear the single ones yeah i'm gonna wear the single ones since it's supposed to be like 90s minimalist makeup so for my lashes my sister put me on to this kiss lash adhesive the latex free because she's allergic to latex you guys, if you want your lashes to stay on all night, all day, and all into the next like night, especially if you know you're a sex worker, a drag queen, a performer, a burlesque performer, this shit is strong and it'll stay on. I actually hate putting it on the full lash. I'll only do like a dot on the side, a dot on the other side, and a dot in the middle because other than that, if you try to take these off, you will definitely rip a lash. This is the truth. And I've had it for forever and it lasts so long. So while I'm waiting for my lashes to dry, I'm gonna go into this palette. I don't know what blush I wanna use. I think, I think I wanna use Paramore. I know it's a red, but like, that's my feeling. I'm just feeling clown today. This is so nice. I'm telling you, it goes on so light. That's Paramore, one layer. Paramore, two layers. Look how it blends. No blush, blush. It is so light. Even though it's like a red, I wouldn't be scared of using reds if you're dark skinned because it's this is so, it just goes on so buttery. I love it. I actually like that I have natural lighting now so you can see how it looks. Like, this feels like alternative girls no makeup makeup look because it's, yeah. 
I do my little molds. I used to do like the drag lines down, but I'm not going to do that today. <laughs> Since there's no highlight in any of these palettes, um, I'm just going to use my Powerpuff Girls palette from ColourPop. And the Mayor, as you can see, it's well loved. And I'm just going to highlight my face with it because I want to be a glowy bitch. Yeah. Look at that glow. Ah, so pretty. Okay, so lastly for the lips, we're going to go back in the Dark Renaissance palette and take this black Raphael color and line the lips. And if you don't have um, powder, obviously, oh, this looks so good already. You can use, I have this Velvet Matte color, sorry, Velvet Merlot, I think I want to use, let me see. It's a little dark. I like it. The Fenty in the center. Just a couple of dots. the final look for my hair as you saw I just pinned up the sides to give it that height pin the curls back in the front making sure you see the roll here and here and then I just brushed the curls back I did have pin curls in my hair so now for the giveaway I am giving away this necklace because I literally cannot wear it for longer than 10 minutes um so yeah if you want to be entered to win this necklace all you have to do subscribe like this video comment down below anything about your day whatever you want to comment and then head over to my retro babe stickers ig follow me on there and then you're entered to win this necklace really quick i forgot i want to show you guys my outfit this is just a thrifted shirt i cut off the shoulder and then i'm wearing a floor length leopard skirt with a skinny belt and then my shoes from lamuda giving the full gwen stefani sunday morning experience don't look like twins. I always be doing it with these inspired looks. So y'all subscribe for these inspired looks. Okay.